I'm Nancy Howell with Western Cuyahoga Audubon, and I'm also uh, an employee here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and I have a, my pleasure of introducing Dr. Andy Jones, who is the curator and head of ornithology here at the, at the museum, and also the uh, director of science at the museum. So I'm going to let Andy talk a little bit about how we got involved with ornithology, birds, you know, interests how at, at a young age okay yeah i started at a very young age uh my first field notes were when i was five years old five wow i went out in the yard and counted uh fowler's toads in the front yard and wrote them down and my dad was encouraging me to kind of keep track in your of front what yard was, was where in uh, raleigh north carolina north carolina yeah wow. yeah wow. so i actually started with reptiles amphibians and that was really after getting out of dinosaurs so i started with dinosaurs <laughs> at like age well, three or four which a lot of kids around do around because you know the dinosaurs are there's some right. right on the grass over well, there. and i took kind of a circuitous route so i started with the dinosaurs and reptiles amphibians and then fish took over hmm. and so wow. by middle school i had uh, 13 aquaria in my bedroom uh, that was a second floor bedroom, so we were always afraid we'd come home and my bedroom would be on the first floor, but that never happened. Uh, but I was keeping uh, things that I would buy in a store as well as stuff from the nearby creeks, and I started wow. getting really interested in what's in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then by high school, I had to do a wildflower project, which I was not excited about, and, and ended up really enjoying it, and had to identify 25 species of wildflowers. While I was doing that, nice. um, a raptor flew over and I started yelling, hey, there's a bald eagle, there's a bald eagle. And my dad went along with me and said, yeah, it's a bald eagle. And my young cousin, who was maybe 10 at the time, said, no, that's an osprey. Oh, wow. I thought, I'm not really sure what an osprey is, but it had a white head. It had to oh, be a okay. bald eagle. Yeah. And so I looked it up later and actually it had a black line on oh. its white head and he was right. And uh, so that was the first bird I had really officially paid attention to. Uh, that was maybe my freshman year in high school. And I got really hooked from there, started birding the backyard and, and seeing what else was around, and, and it totally snowballed from there. Wow.